What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Convoy. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and attempt to go slay a dragon. I think that's what we're going to do today. We had a quest to go kill a dragon and I'm a little bit intrigued by this whole thing. We've got Sir Charleston on board apparently. So let's go along. If you don't know who that is, he's a character from a game we played a while back called Dead State, where he thought he was a medieval knight trapped in the modern realm. Either way, we've got a side objective right here. It's 146 kilometers away. The game is escalating, and so I think in the next couple episodes, we'll probably bite the big one. The things that I'd like to do, so let's talk about the way that our convoy is arrayed right now. So the things that I would like to do, I would like to get a shield for this unit so that I can then put the aid unit onto here. Once we move the aid unit over to here, I think I'd like to replace both of these cannons with the heavy lasers. If it can't be done, it can't be done. So I'm not going to worry about it that much. But it's just a minor operational thing that I wish was a little bit different. And so I just wanted to bring that up before we left so that everybody's on the same page. Let's get riding, shall we? I think if we could hit this road over here, I don't want to cross the mountains like at all. I'm hoping that this cuts to the left at some point. Let's maybe hit up this event while we're over here too, because you can never have too much money. You come across a raider outpost and they attempt to radio you. Let's hear it. That's a mighty fine looking convoy you got there. How about you transport some of our wares for us? What kind of wares are we talking about? The don't ask damn questions kind. Are you interested or not? I've taken this before, and one of them, it's a bomb, and they blow up one of your vehicles and then they rob you. And then the other one, you actually end up making a lot of money. I think I'm going to walk away. I could kill him instead, but I think I would rather... Let's just keep everything nice and repaired. We're sort of like out and around trying to accomplish something right now. I am going to have to go across the mountains. You are being followed by some privateers. They demand you give them 50 scrap or they'll open fire. You've got fire that's actually shaped like a bag or a box that you can open? That's amazing. How did you do that? We don't deal with privateers, scum. We shall open our own fire. Oh, look. Apparently, we have our own supply, too. Let's go. I have no idea what that guy just said. All right, let's spread around a little bit. Try and keep an eye on what's happening here. Looks like we got a big guy coming in from down here. We got a mine layer on this side. I'm going to get started on him because I think he's the first target that I'm actually interested in destroying. I don't want to spread people around too much. Yeah, exactly, for just that reason. However, once that missile goes out, let's stun... I don't know who I want to stun right now. Let's stun you. And we'll just put everything we got on you for right now. And it looks like we've got a repair vehicle around, which is unfortunate. So let's start working the repair vehicle, I guess. Put a little bit more damage over there. We are going to have to cleave through that shield, unfortunately, because it is holding up. I think it's a Mark III is the purple. I don't know if it's Mark II or a Mark III. I think it's... I don't know. We've got all the colors of the rainbow right now, if all the colors of the rainbow were purple, green, and blue. So I'm not sure what we're talking about still. It's going to take a while. Redivert your fire over on that character, please. There it is. Oh, man, that little mine layer just got us because I wasn't paying attention. That's what I get. Okay, well, we've killed off one vehicle. That means that we're now free to operate against this one right here. And so let's do that in a very, very violent way. I love going in and operating. He's probably going to try and break line of sight with this vehicle right here. Simply to deal a little bit more damage when he blows. Apparently, I hadn't noticed this, but it actually wounds you when you're inside the explosive radius of other cars. I don't know how I didn't notice that over the course of like 13 hours of gameplay. But then again, I would love for this game to have a combat log somewhere that you could unfold so that you could actually do like a post-mortem after a fight and figure out exactly what went wrong. If that had been available, I probably would have noticed it because I am a little bit of a combat log checker. I enjoy looking at the wood. I'm going to send you over here to go get rid of that guy because he's actually becoming a little bit of a pain in my ass. And then we'll start moving, actually, no, just stay up here. We'll start moving some of these vehicles around. That one's moving into intercept, which is unfortunate. But I think it can be dealt with. We managed to dodge that right there, which is incredible. I actually didn't expect for that to work. Let's go ahead and knock his shield off. And I would prefer that we just keep people running around. Oh, look, we've got another siphoning bot, too. Great, we are taking a substantial amount of damage. Luckily, I think there was a camp right outside of this combat. So, we'll stay on top of it for right now. There we go. Yeah, it did damage him, I guess. How I never noticed that, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a giant noob like that. I'm going to have these two sweep around the outside right here. As soon as that comes back up, we're going to bring everybody over, and it's going to be bombardment time. It's open season on this guy's ass. I want you all to kind of get out of the way. If he was smart, he would have blocked me right there. 
still, I can get a couple rams in, which is cool. Meh. No, don't do that, don't do that. He's gonna blow up. That's a bad plan. Okay, and so you find some loot in the wrecks. We got a Mark III shield, which is exactly what we were looking for. Cool. So we take the loot. We get a little bit of extra stuff to repair our vehicles with. Let's go down to this little village right here. And let's see what we can wrangle for ourselves, shall we? Alright, so a little bit of repairing going on. There it is. Get all these vehicles looking nice and squared away. We got ourselves a Mark III shield. I like how they put... So what they have right now, you might not notice this because it's a minor little UI change. But for every single object in the game, what they've done now is they've gone through... And on the red items, it'll have like a little weapon. On the utility items, it has a little U down here just to like, I don't know, enlighten people and let them know that there's stuff working. And so what I wanted to do here is we'll take off that aid unit finally. We'll give that to him. Honestly, this is a unit that I would think about getting rid of so that we could buy a bigger battery unit if we could find one that we could afford. Like a tank or, you know, an APC or something like that that has all four slots filled in. Because we do want to concurrently, well not concurrently, but we do want to consistently be moving upwards. It is the McGriddle and I know that it's got feelings we've got feels towards anything named after the McGriddle but still let's go after a little bit of handling right here so that this one moves around quicker we'll also go after a little bit of range so that she can fire farther he can fire farther whatever that's good to me what do we have in the shop right now a bunch of aid units and a terrible little vehicle it's an okay vehicle if you're in the front end of the game but eh. not one that I would rely on if you're later on let's see if we can find this dragon shall we this might get incredibly risky but I guess we've got to go across the mountains. I usually try to avoid going into the higher topographical regions just because it causes you to move so slowly that you can get bogged down in a situation that you can't necessarily escape from. A convoy of vehicles approaching you. The one in the front is sporting a skull and bones flag. Seems like a privateer raiding party. You hear them on the radio exclaiming, come and get one in the yarbles if you have any yarbles, you eunuch jelly thou. I guess we'll try and outrun him. You've managed to escape him? Good, because we're on our way out. I usually try and avoid combat if I'm trying to get to an objective because I want to get there with all my armor and all my HP in place. The signal appears to be coming from a massive, old, overgrown football stadium stood in the middle of a desolate desert. The stadium looms over you, making you feel incredibly insignificant as you look up at the massive building. The local fauna has overtaken the majority of the stadium, but it still looks stable. Okay, well, it's good to know that the fauna is stable and it's taking its pills and doing those things it needs to do in order to make its life better. Investigate the inside. Upon heading inside, you see several statues of football players. Judging from their posture and size, you suspect that they were local legends. Eventually, you arrive at the vomitorium to the field. Looking inside, you see the way to the center of the stadium is lined with balls and jerseys on spears. I'm going to keep looking. As you pass the jerseys, you begin smelling rotten, f ooh, rotted flesh. Upon closer inspection, they appear to all have rotting torsos inside of them. You cringe, hold down your vomit, and keep walking towards the field. Upon reaching the middle of the field, you instantly feel a change in temperature and in general feeling. Despite standing in the middle of the field of an enormous empty stadium, you have never felt more closed in. It's as if eyes are everywhere staring at you, staring through you and burning you up. As you turn to leave, you see a shadow move. Shoot it! You begin firing wildly at the shadow which falls to the ground. When you walk towards where the shadow fell, an arrow hits the wall next to your head. You turn around to see tribals and football jerseys holding spears and bows with arrows notched in them. You are woefully outnumbered, so your only option is to try and escape. You forget about the shadow and sprint out of the stadium, past the jersey corpses, and into your convoy. The tribals are hot on your tail with their own ragtag mess of cars. Cars. Okay, escape. They catch up to you before you can get a decent speed. A fight is inevitable. Okay. Well, let's jump on in. People are kind of all over the place right now, though, so we're not in a good starting position. What the hell is that, a harpoon? Oh my god, that thing is horrifying. So let's focus on anything that don't got a shield right now, which actually, luckily for us, is a lot of these guys. I'm going to hit him with the laser. The shield will now be down. Let's focus up a little bit of fire, shall we? I'm going to have this unit chase them down. And I'm going to ram you out of the way using my aid unit. Wow, that guy's got some serious HP. A concerning amount of HP. Alright, get out of the way of that mine. Let's go ahead and throw a mine at that guy. There we go. Kind of flush him out of his safe position. We've got more damage being dealt right there. I'm going to move these all out of the way so that we can kill this guy. I don't want you to actually do that. I was lying. I was making shit up and playing poorly. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Ooh, he's got to be hitting me with a plasma cannon, I guess. Looks like we're actually losing a considerable amount of HP. Okay. Well, let's stun some of these little guys. I shouldn't have done that. I was thinking I was using a different mine. Oh, well. We'll throw another mine on him right there, and that'll help out a little bit. Let's keep everybody together. I think our DPS is not sufficient in order to kill these guys off effectively. 
And now we'll move forward. We got dumb fire missiles, which we can use. The only person that's hanging in there is Andy. Andy doesn't take like any HP damage. Skull coming through on that side. As soon as we're in range over here, we'll continue to pelt and destroy. Okay. Swing wide right here. Sweet chariots. I gotta watch out for mines. They keep getting me with these mines like left and right. Unfortunately, things getting intense, and I'm bad at paying attention. Get out of the way of the explosion. Oh, you didn't get out of the way of the explosion in time. With all the tribal vehicles destroyed, it's an easy task to blast all the warriors on foot to smithereens. You find some loot in the wrecks. Okay, we leave it behind. Unfortunately, we're a little wounded up right now, which is one of the reasons why I would worry about doing all this. However, the Mercury's over there, the camp's over there. Let's go to a place where we can get repairs, I guess. Woogie is kind of beat up right now, and it makes me feel nervous. The Mercury's all the way back that way, huh? I don't think we have the stuff we need right now in order to face the dragon. Raiders appear from hiding places along the highway and engage you. Oh good, another unavoidable fight that you can't spend fuel on either. I don't know, there's too much combat in this game. That's what I would actually say, there's way, way too much combat. That guy should be dead pretty soon. Over here, these guys all have dumb fire missiles, which makes me think we might be about ready to die. Let's go ahead. I'm going to keep you out here. I need you guys all over here dealing with this. We'll throw a stun mine right there. And I need all of you guys doing something about this. So ram him off the road if you can. Stay on him, though. See, this is why I knew we shouldn't have gone anywhere and like, we shouldn't have gone away from any of the, the rest points, unfortunately. I had a feeling something like this would happen. Go ahead and pull him out of line of sight. Go ahead and block that off right there. I'm going to go out of my way to stun this individual. I don't know why it just launched my mind way the hell over there, because I don't remember pressing anything. But okay, whatever, we can deal with that. We've got him right there. Let's continue firing on that guy. And I need you to move to right there. He's now down. I need a stun mine out to right there. Unfortunately, since the game has kind of a weird system, I can't let this get hit by a mine, so I basically just got to sit here and babysit it. Let's bring my laser unit around to this side. But yeah, I feel like the combat is a little bit too much in this game. There's just a lot of combat. Like, they really, there should be a lot more resolutions that don't involve me, like, shooting a whole bunch of stuff. And so let's go over here. We'll shoot that right there. You get out of the way because it's about to blow up. Okay, now that we're out of the way, we'll scoot forward. Start thinking about getting rid of this unit. I think we should be alright here. And there it is. Oh my god, a really, really close shave right there. Almost had us. We have more than enough loot now. If we could make it back to a repair spot, I think we'll be good. It's still reporting that the camp down there is the only place we can go. Yikes. Okay, well, if we can make it back to the Mercury, we might be okay. If we can't, then it's probably going to be curtains for us. You spot a squad of privateers in the distance. As soon as they notice you, they speed off. Good riddance. We don't have time for these shenanigans. We need to get some repairs going. We are wounded. Heavily wound at the moment would be the way that I would put it. Okay. I actually thought that was it for us. The time to start looking for new gear and new stuff, though, is here. I mean, we are circling the drain at the moment. Let's go after... I'm going to try and go back after the dragon, but it's going to depend on what random events we get along the way. I guess we could go after the RX chip. James Fay is the next one. And he's down that way, huh? Let's do... I don't know what the right choice is right now. There's a lot of things sort of overhanging at the moment that I'm not sure that I want to engage in. A little bit nerve-wracking. As you drive down the road, you see a car off to the side with a white flag hanging out the window. As you get closer, you see the car is riddled with bullets and scorch marks. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a bullet pings off the hood of your car. You hear two horrendous accents over a speaker claiming they want Philip Davis to come up or they will kill everyone. 
You put the pedal to the floor and try to escape, but you dig yourself into the sand while bullets repeatedly hit your convoy. At every rear view, a car appears from over a dune. You finally begin moving as the assassin's car comes within 100 yards of the convoy. As you turn to fight the would-be assassins, they get a change of heart and speed away. At least they're not bothering you anymore. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back and... It seems dumb, but I just, I'm gonna repair this tiny little bit of damage real fast because... Might as well. I don't want to run off and face a dragon with, like, little random dents and bumps and knobs in my armor. So we'll get that all taken care of. And then we'll head back on out, shall we? I'm just going to go after the dragon. That's what we were trying to do at the beginning of the episode. And I think that's what I'm going to stick with. We're going to cut through the road right here. You come across a lone man seeing... Yeah, he's got the sandwich sign. Could be a traffic. Ignore him. Yeah. Sometimes it's a bomb and it blows up one of your vehicles. Sometimes it gives you access to this casino that's like randomly placed on the map. You can't really tell which it's going to be, and I'd rather avoid that from happening, so there it is. Events! The signal appears to be coming from a lone privateer vehicle. It seems to have noticed your convoy, starts its engine, and attempts to race off. This is the one where I think you end up in a minefield and it's an ambush. I'm going to leave him be. Pretty sure that's what happens right there. Let's get on this dragon, shall we? In the distance, you spot some metal glinting in the sunlight. It seems to be a hulking figure wearing what looks like makeshift plate mail out of spare parts. He is carrying a massive exhaust pipe as a lance, and he's steering a steering wheel as a shield. As you approach, he adopts a defensive stance and shouts, Have at thee, servant of the dragon. Eventually, you manage to calm him down, although he doesn't seem any less delirious. He explains he's the last remaining knight. Didn't we already get this quest? We already have that. Do we have it twice now? That's weird. An enormous roar shakes you up as you near the supposed dragon cage, or cave. Two ominous red lights appear in the distance. The Knight of the Order of the Wheel runs out of your MCV, lance and shield at the ready, and starts charging towards it. The day of your reckoning is nigh! The red lights come closer, and it actually is a dragon. I guess we'll fight with it. It's a raider dragon. A pirate dragon. Oh shit, okay, so that's kinda cool. It's got two death rays, so we'll have to watch out for that. Does it have homies? Would be my next quest. It has homies. Okay, so even better. Alright then. Well, since it has friends and amigos and comrades. I'm going to start moving things around. Let's start dealing some damage and causing some pain, shall we? Over on this side, obviously, I think we need to get started with some damage. I'm going to stun him. Once he's stunned, I'm going to throw a mine on him because why not? It threw the mine to the wrong spot even though I clicked over here. Okay. Well, can't deal with that. There's nothing I can do about that one. Alright, let's start shifting people around and maybe see if we can not get blown up today. We're doing a pretty good job. Death Ray is up and running. I'm going to have you move forward. I need you guys to move down to here. You continue firing at that spot right there. And you get out of the way of the Death Ray. Exactly. We've also got a missile on the way out, but we should be safe from that one, I think. Continue firing on him. You guys continue working this, dude. Just deal as much damage as you can. Oh, get up out of there. Okay. You move away from him so that when he... Oh, shit. When he blows up, nothing goes wrong there. That knocked out his shield, but he's actually still alive and okay, which is actually really, really good. I wasn't expecting that. Get you out of the way of the mine. Have you move forward. Let's go ahead and stun him. We'll throw a mine out there as well. I would also like to stun you. A little bit of damage dealt. Let's move forward. Death Ray is on its way out, as usual. Let's get started right there. Continue firing. Got stuff to accomplish here. I don't want to waste my time. Get a couple missiles away on him. By and large, this appears to be going really, really well for us. Although we do have a potential death trap coming in, so let's get him out of the way. Extra handling is paying back in dividends right now, as far as I'm concerned. I'm glad we decided to put that in. I'm going to go ahead and stun this individual since he's got a laser. Ooh, he might not make it. Oh, you big big bastard. You made it. Oh, my God. That was, that was some sneakery right there. That was some sneakery. We gotta actually, go upwards. We've got a death trap coming in right there. He's going to get hit by that debris either way, so why not? Start moving everybody else forward to engage the dragon, shall we? I'm going to stun you because I don't like the fact that you're shooting back at me. It's unpleasant and it makes me sad and dislike you. On this side, we're going to need to deal some damage over here. Not really a whole lot of places he can go to avoid that missile. But nonetheless, I am going to try. 
Okay, so there we go. And now we should be able to stun lock him for the remainder. Does he still fire the missile if I stun him? Ah, you can actually get in the way of that. All right, bring everybody else out because we've got a dragon to slay right now. Do you actually get anything for slaying the dragon? Let's continue to put rounds on him, I guess. I'm going to back everybody up slightly, and that seems like it was a decent plan because I didn't know he was going to point blank me with a missile. Death Ray is on its way out again, so just move out of the way of that. I think we're all good right there. We're not going to get attacked by it. Why are you not firing right now? I need you to fire. It is actually one of the pivotal things I need you to accomplish. Get in front of the MCV now to avoid that pillar right there, which we almost ate to the face. Oh my god, this is so overwhelming. He has so much armor. A little bit more damage dealt. Continue with the missiles. I need to invest in one of those blasters that actually gets rid of armor. Okay, move forward. Death Ray Avoidance has been successful thus far. Of all the avoidances, that's the one that I would want on my character sheet. It's got death in the name, I mean. The final explosion, the dragon is slain. You find some loot in the Rex. The knight approaches your convoy and thanks you for the assistance. The knight looks thoughtful, then explains he never really had a thought about what to do after his quest had finished. Since you've been noble enough to aid his quest, he offers his services to your convoy. Very well. Give me a moment, I shall construct my own vehicle from the remains of the dragon. Hell yeah. The free rooster, look at that thing. Okay, alright, I'm down. We'll have to get rid of the McGriddle. But that vehicle right there is the stuff. Yeah, it looks like the dragon from Dragon Ball Z. I dig it. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade, so I think I'm going to take it. This guy's got a shield, though. It comes down to what do I want to, what do I want to accomplish here, I guess. Oh, I want to take the MG off and move it over real fast. Can I do that? Oh, that sucks that you can't move things around on this screen. They should actually really, really consider letting you do that, and they'll put your inventory over here. Because I'm about to lose a heavy MG that I'd like to move over to the Woogie. And I'd also like to strip this for parts. It actually doesn't have a lot of health. Handling is about what you would expect. Sans Shield. He's got a heavy plasma right there. God, I would love to move some of this around. Alright, I don't have a choice. The McGriddle's gonna go, I guess. I It is what it is. I'd like to play around with the Free Rooster because I've never had this vehicle before. I don't think I've ever done this quest, so it's kind of an interesting thing to have around. Our armor is looking battered, but everything else is looking okay. I think we Oh, we did get our stuff back. Okay, so cool. Never mind. Problem negated. That's not something we had to worry about then. I was just being bitchy and moany about nothing. We didn't get a whole lot of loot from that, which is actually kind of surprising. I think next we'll probably go after James Fay. That'll be the, the last thing that we kind of go after because I think we've pretty much tapped out a lot of the events. You hear an explosion and vehicles are taking damage. As you warn the convoy, oh my god. So we just took everything down to like half health in our entire convoy. Cool. Freebie damage that's unavoidable and there's nothing you can do about it. Let's get started over here. Got a lot of stuff to handle. I'm going to try and get rid of this guy over here since he's rocking... A lot of like chain gun action, which I'm not a fan of. Unless it's my chain gun, and then I love it. Over here, however, I'm gonna focus on the back end. Wait, flower power, you get him. You just like mine him up, I guess. If you can stun him, that'd be great. Bring yourself into combat here. You focus on smacking the hell on out of him. Oh, good, there's another one right there. Even better. Okay, so just what I felt like doing right now. Let's fight a couple more enemies jumping in from off screen. I think we can handle that. Since you've got the aid unit, start just hitting this guy. Just make him uncomfortable. Get out of the way of the missile. Continue ramming. His range leaves something to be desired for right now, and so I think I'll probably work on that with him. Maybe take some scrap and get his range a little bit better. Take the mine right there. Let's go ahead and move forward with everybody else. We'll get his shield off, and then we'll throw a mine at him. His shield is now down. We'll throw that over there. He's got to get real close before we can finish this job, but I think our DPS has overall gone up quite a bit swapping out those units. Just an observation, we got an autocannon 60mm. 
Yikes, that's not very useful. Okay, well, if we had gotten the scrap and the unit, it'd probably be a little bit better. Let's make our way back to base camp. We're almost there. We're almost done with the game. Like, we're getting closer. I think that if we could just seal the deal on the back end, we'd be all right. But we just... Some serious attrition taking place, which is to be expected for the back end of the game, I suppose. I'm not a big fan of RNG, and so you guys will have to forgive me as I'm going along my way, sort of just like... If he can have a shield mark 3, throw that on there. The DPS on those is 13. Oh, never mind, it's one of the big ones. I thought that it was one of the little ones. Never mind, so that's a 52 DPS weapon. We should probably go back and take a look at some of the stuff that these guys have. So what do you have? You have a heavy pulse laser, a heavy pulse laser, and a heavy plasma. The heavy plasma is a little bit wanting, in my opinion. It gets rid of armor really, really rapidly, and he does have normal DPS going on. Maybe a little bit more handling. That seems alright. We'll take those upgrades right there. Got the heavy MG on that side, which we wanted to throw on our little vehicle right here. So let's give him that one. That'll increase his DPS, a final little just push. We'll give her that little machine gun right there. We have an extra shield, but I don't know for a fact that they stack. And so if I don't know for a fact that they stack, I think I'm going to stay on track and just we're almost out of scrap. And we're going to need this in order to seal the deal and finish the game. So let's sell off. That does 13. What does this one do? 17 versus 9.4 technically this is the better move right here and then you sell the heavy machine gun I don't like the slow firing weapons but it'll do let's go to the shop we'll grab some gas and I think it's time to make our way towards James Fay. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Convoy. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Take care out there, everybody, and as always, hi-do. I'll see you next time.